So have you ever wondered if we humans are actually holding AI back? Are we the bottleneck in how smart these things can truly get? We spend all this time curating data, labeling stuff, feeding it examples. But what if A, I could just teach itself completely without needing any of our carefully prepared lessons? It sounds pretty sci-fi, right? Like the next leap towards AGI or something. Well, recently, a paper dropped that's trying to make this a reality. It comes from researchers primarily at Tsinghua University, Beijing Institute for General Artificial Intelligence, and Pennsylvania State University, and it's called Absolute Zero Reinforced Self-Play Reasoning with Zero Data. Yeah, Absolute Zero. It's a bold title, and the idea behind it is potentially game-changing. They're proposing a new way, a new paradigm they call it, for large language models to learn reasoning skills, potentially reaching superhuman levels, without relying on any human-provided examples or problems. Okay, let's break this down. Because this is a bit of a mind-bender, and it contrasts sharply with how most AI learns today. You know the standard approach, right? Supervised fine-tuning. That's where we humans take a base model, and we feed it tons of examples of tasks we want it to do, showing it the right answer or the right way to reason through something, step by step. Think of it like a teacher showing a student exactly how to solve a specific math problem. We are in control. We provide the examples, the quote, standard reasoning trace, like the chain of thought. It works, but it's incredibly labor intensive. Creating those high quality data sets is expensive and takes forever. And crucially, the AI is only learning the patterns we show it. Then things got a bit smarter with reinforcement learning specifically reinforcement learning with verifiable rewards, or RLVR. This has been a big deal lately, especially for reasoning tasks like math and coding. With RLVR, we don't necessarily need to show the AI the exact steps to take. Instead, we give it a problem and let the AI try to solve it. Then we use an outcome-based reward. Did it get the right answer? For things like math and coding, this is often easy to check programmatically. You run the code, does it pass the tests? You check the math answer, is it correct? The AI learns through trial and error, guided by this verifiable reward signal. It's powerful because the AI can explore different ways to solve a problem, potentially finding better or novel methods. Big models like DeepSea Coder R1, OpenAI's O3, and Google's Gemini and others making waves right now heavily rely on RLVR. They learn from outcome-based rewards on vast datasets. But here's the catch, and it's a big one, that the absolute zero paper hammers home. Even with RLVR, humans are still curating the problems. We're still the ones defining the distribution of tasks, gathering the questions, providing the initial prompts and the expected verifiable answers we're setting the curriculum. This creates two major problems, especially when considering the development of superintelligence. First, there's a scalability bottleneck. Creating massive, high-quality data sets of problems is incredibly difficult. We may simply run out of human expertise or time to produce enough diverse and challenging problems to keep advancing AI. We're already seeing signs of data limitations in training large language models, and the same could happen with reasoning tasks. Just think about how many unique, challenging coding or math problems we can realistically create and verify. Second, there's the issue of the human limitation ceiling. If AI is only trained on tasks that we define, can it ever truly go beyond us in a meaningful, open-ended way? For AI to discover new scientific laws or invent entirely new fields of knowledge, it may need to operate beyond the boundaries of human-defined problems. If a future AI is vastly more intelligent than we are, our tasks might actually be too simple to provide real learning value. This is where absolute zero comes in. It's asking whether we can remove the human problem setter from the loop entirely. The core idea is reinforce self-play reasoning with zero data. Think about AlphaGo, DeepMind's Go playing AI. How did AlphaGo Zero become superhuman? Not by studying human games, but by playing against itself millions and millions of times. It learned the game from scratch, discovering strategies no human had ever conceived. Absolute Zero tries to apply a similar principle to reasoning tasks. Instead of playing Go, the AI is playing with problems in a verifiable domain like coding or math. Here's how it works conceptually, and it's pretty wild. You start with a single language model called AZR, Absolute Zero Reasoner, which plays two roles, a 
proposer and a solver. As a proposer, AZR generates a reasoning task, typically a coding problem, by creating a Python function along with an input. This task is then sent to an environment, such as a Python interpreter, which validates the task. It ensures the code runs without errors, behaves deterministically, and doesn't do anything unsafe like tampering with the operating system. If the code passes these checks, the environment executes it using the input and captures the output. The result is a well-defined problem with the program, input, and ground truth output. Now AZR switches roles and acts as the solver. It's given parts of the problem, like the program and the input, and must produce the missing piece, such as the correct output. The environment then verifies the solution. If the prediction matches the correct output, the model gets a binary reward, correct or incorrect. But here's where it gets really clever. The model isn't just rewarded for solving problems. It also gets a learnability reward for the quality of the problems it proposes. This reward is based on how effectively a proposed problem helps the solver learn. If the solver always gets the task right, it's too easy and the reward is low. If it always fails, the task is too hard and the reward is also low. The sweet spot is a task that's challenging but still solvable, something that pushes the solver to improve. Those problems earn a high reward. Finally, the AZR model is trained jointly through reinforcement learning, taking into account both the solving accuracy and the learnability of its proposed tasks. Over time, it becomes better at both generating useful challenges and solving them, learning from itself in a fully closed loop. So what's happening here? The AI is essentially creating its own curriculum. It's exploring the space of possible problems, figuring out what it knows and what it doesn't, and generating new challenges for itself that are right at the edge of its current capabilities. It learns entirely through self-interaction, grounded by the feedback from the code execution environment. The paper describes this as shifting the burden of scaling data away from human experts and onto the proposer policy and the environment. It's trying to build a system that can continuously improve itself in an open-ended way, much like AlphaGo Zero did for Go, but for broader reasoning domains. Now, the researchers implemented this AZR system specifically for coding tasks. They used a code executor as the environment because code execution provides that critical verifiable feedback. They designed three types of reasoning tasks using the program input output triplet, each representing a fundamental mode of reasoning. First is deduction. Given the program and input, the model predicts the output. This is standard forward reasoning, like running code and understanding what it does. Next is abduction. Here, the model gets the program and output and has to figure out a plausible input that would produce that output. This is backward reasoning, often involving trial and error or creative inference. Lastly, there's induction. Given several input-output examples from an unknown program, the model has to infer and write the underlying program that maps those inputs to those outputs. It's about generalizing the logic from patterns. AZR learns to both propose and solve tasks across all three of these reasoning modes at the same time. Okay, so that's the theory. Does it actually work? This is where the results get really interesting maybe even a bit shocking, they took standard base models like QN 2.5 to 7B and its coder variant and trained them using this absolute zero approach. Remember, no external human data is used during this AZR training phase, only the initial base models capabilities and the self-generated coding tasks. They then evaluated the AZR trained models on standard out of distribution benchmarks for both coding and mathematical reasoning like AIM, AMC, MATH 500, Minerva, and Olympiad Bench. What they found was striking. In coding, AZR achieved state-of-the-art performance among zero-setting models, those trained without any supervised fine-tuning on the benchmark tasks. It even outperformed models that had been trained on tens of thousands of human-curated coding examples using RLVR. In other words, a model trained entirely on self-generated coding tasks with zero human data beat models trained specifically on coding competition problems. That's wild. In math, AZR achieved competitive results against other zero-setting models that had been trained directly on math datasets. This is even more impressive because AZR was never trained on math tasks. It learned only from self-generated coding problems. Its math reasoning ability improved purely as a side effect of reasoning about code.
This reveals a few important insights. First, reasoning about code appears to transfer surprisingly well to math. The logical rigor, structure, and execution-based thinking involved in coding seem to build fundamental reasoning skills. In fact, the base Quen coder model started out worse at math than the vanilla Quen model, but after AZR training, again, only on code, it surpassed the vanilla model. Coding prior is significantly enhanced reasoning ability. Second, AZR showed much stronger cross-domain transfer than typical RLVR models, while standard RLVR trained code models gained very little on math benchmarks, about 0.65 points on average. AZR models showed major improvements, up to 10.9 points for the base model and 15.2 for the coder variant. This suggests that self-generated tasks focused on learnability help the model develop deeper and more general reasoning capabilities. Third, performance scaled with model size. Larger AZR models saw bigger gains, 5.7 points for the 3B model, 10.2 for the 7B, and 13.2 for the 14B. This implies that the benefits of the AZR approach may grow even further with larger frontier models. Finally, there were emergent behaviors during training. When solving induction tasks, AZR models often generated code with interleaved comments that acted as step-by-step -step plans, similar to the React prompting method. It seems the model naturally discovered the value of planning through reasoning. Different reasoning styles emerged for different tasks. Abduction led to more trial and error behaviors, with the model trying various inputs until the output matched. Deduction and induction showed more modest increases in output length, but abduction saw the most significant token growth, indicating more intensive reasoning effort. And task diversity? It increased steadily over time. The proposed tasks became more complex and varied, even without explicit incentives for diversity. The learnability reward alone pushed the model to explore more challenging and interesting problems. So the absolute zero paradigm, at least in this initial AZR implementation, seems incredibly promising. It demonstrates that an AI can significantly improve its reasoning capabilities across multiple domains by generating and solving its own problems in a verifiable environment, completely bypassing the need for human curated task data sets. This feels like a big step towards the era of experience that folks like David Silver from DeepMind talk about, where AI learns more like humans and animals do through interaction and experimentation rather than just passive data consumption. But there's always a but, right? The paper also flags a potential safety concern. They observed that the AZR model occasionally produced concerning chains of thought. They call it the uh-oh moment. They show an example where the model while generating a task includes thoughts like, the aim is to outsmart all these groups of intelligent machines and less intelligent humans. This is for the brains behind the future. Yikes, that's not ideal. It highlights a critical challenge. As we build more autonomous, self-improving AI systems, ensuring they remain aligned with human values becomes even more crucial and potentially much harder. If the AI is generating its own data and learning goals, how do we steer it away from developing undesirable or dangerous objectives or modes of thinking? The very autonomy that makes absolute zero powerful also makes it potentially risky if not handled carefully. This uh-oh moment is a stark reminder that building safe AGI isn't just about capability. It's deeply intertwined with alignment and self-improving systems complicate that picture significantly. So wrapping this up, what's the big picture here? The Absolute Zero paper proposes a radical shift in how we train AI for reasoning. By enabling models to generate their own problems, solve them through self-play, and learn from verifiable environmental feedback, all without human data, it potentially overcomes major limitations of current methods. This could be a crucial piece of the puzzle for developing highly capable, general reasoning systems. If AI can generate its own data tailored to its learning needs, the pace of improvement might become exponential limited primarily by compute rather than human labor. It feels like a more plausible path towards AGI than simply scaling up models on static human-generated datasets. However, the safety concerns are real and need serious attention. Autonomous self-improvement requires robust alignment strategies that we are still figuring out. It really makes you wonder, are we looking at the blueprint for the next generation of AI reasoners? Is this the holy grail of 
AI learning they talk about, the path to systems that can genuinely learn and discover beyond human knowledge, and critically, can we ensure such powerful self-directed learning stays safe and beneficial? It's a lot to think about. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Is absolute zero the breakthrough it seems to be? What are the biggest potentials and the biggest risks you see? Is relying purely on environmental feedback enough? Or is there still a crucial role for some form of human guidance, even if not direct DLA boy? Definitely a space to watch closely. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll catch you in the next one.